Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The video that you will see next is a float us tutorial. I am not a chef, but they do taste delicious. I am from Guerrero, Mexico, and the way we do flautas is a little bit different from other states, other countries, so if you guys wanna know how I make my flautas, keep on watching. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that I use. I have fresh chicken, the masola corn oil, I have cabbage, I also have the cotija cheese. You can use queso fresco if that's your preference. I also have crema mexicana, the cacique brand. You can use any brand that you like. I have tortillas. You can find any brand. And this is this this is what I'll be using for the sauce. If you don't like spicy much, you can take some of the peppers out. And this is the ingredients for today. We will also need a lemon and we will also need the toothpicks. Okay, so the next step that I do is put the chicken to boil with some water and salt so it can give it flavor. Once it's done, we will take it out. We will make sure that it's well done. We will open it with the fork to let it cool down so we can shred it more comfortably. The next step will be our green sauce or salsa verde. We will boil the tomatillos and the serrano peppers. You will see when they're done, they're going to change the color a little bit. They're going to look a little bit more lighter and then they will be ready to blend. I personally blend it when it's hot. I know some people wait until they cool down. That's not what I do. I add salt, garlic, and onion. And something that's very important that I do is I blend it for a long, long time, usually two to three minutes to make sure that it's very, very blended. Our next step will be the cabbage. You will have to cut the end of the cabbage and then cut it in half. I like the cabbage to be very thin, very fine, so what I usually like to do is to cut very slightly the edge of the cabbage for it to be very thin. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, then you'll have to cut deeper into your cabbage. And I tend to turn it around uh, once I feel like I you know, chopped it for a long time in the same area, so I kind of turn it. And after I'm done, we will put the cabbage in the container for the next steps. After we add the lemon, we will wash the cabbage very well so we don't have that lemon taste afterwards. We will put it back in the container and add some cold water so we can keep it fresh. After that, we will close it and keep it in the fridge until we are ready to use it. The next step is very important because if we don't cook the tortillas, they will break when we try to roll them. So we have to make sure that they are well done so we can roll them comfortably. Okay, our next step will be to roll our flauta. We will add the chicken at the end of the tortilla and we will start folding inwards. The other end of the tortilla is going to be inside the toothpick so it doesn't unfold when we try to fry it. We will do this one more time. Again, we will put the chicken and the edge of the tortilla and start folding inwards. We have to do it as tight as we can so the flautas can be thin and delicious. Next, we will put some oil on a small pot for 10 minutes until it gets hot. Once it does, we will put the flautas in and you will start seeing the bubbles indicating that the oil is in perfect temperature. 
you will fry for 3 minutes or more depending on how you like your flautas. If you like them to be very crispy, you can leave them out longer. If you don't like them to be very crispy, then you can take them out sooner. And these are the very last steps for this flautas tutorial. You can add as much or as little ingredients as you guys like. This is how we eat flautas in Guerrero, Mexico. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will be leaving all of the ingredients on in the description box. And if you guys do this tutorial, please send me pictures. I will be more than happy to see how you flautas turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll go ahead and see you on my next video.